Astro. No. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You ready? Welcome. All right, guys. This is my official tour of MySpace, my compact studio. Hashtag the bat cave. I've been dying to show you guys this studio. It's been a lot of hard work. It took me about almost a year and a half to put this together. This is not me bragging, guys. This is just me pulling back the curtains and show you what's around me. And it goes to say that it took me a while to put this together. And I am a nobody, okay? I'm a college dropout. And if I can do this, guys, you can as well. And stick to the end because I have an announcement because this might be the last time you actually see this space. All right, to kick things off with the tour, let me show you guys my gaming station. I made this thing inside of a closet because I just thought that why not? Besides this, it would have been just a storage area. But I said, you know what, let me actually use this closet for me to game. And at some point, I did have the doors on this and I decided to remove. So this is the only space actually in this office that has this type of color scheme and vibe. Because to me, a gaming setup is not a gaming setup without the good old fashioned RGB look of blue and purple. So I have the color purple on the top, which is dope. It shines kind of on the sides of the actual closet. And then behind the TV, which is an LG 55 inch that I'm rocking on this setup. Behind it, it's a blue light that is kind of almost like a blue going to a teal. And I have an Ikea Malm. I believe it's a Malm rocking of course on top of it the owner of this space batman himself in the funko pop style a luna controller this is for when i'm gaming through the luna app inside of the ipad and i recently picked up the ps5 the slim version even though they don't call it slim it's funny but it's called a slim so and what i did on this setup i made the whole middle in black just to be more aesthetic and i kept the white on the sides just to make this more reflective of the colors and bring out more of the blue and the purple reflections and to keep the setup clean what i did i routed the cables through the wall so if you guys can see right there the cable management is not the best if you guys have any sort of experience with gaming setups inside of a closet you know how freaking of a headache it is to actually do cable management one thing i had to do i actually had to route one of my outlets from the bedroom through inside of the closet so that it's more functional so i don't have cables showing actually traveling this way and to the top of course monkey d water luffy because again i am a batman guy but my number one anime in the world is one piece and right to the side of it my good old ps4 which i freaking kill this thing on gta 5 because that's the game that i play the most if you guys don't know i'm pretty of a beast inside of gta 5 find me on the streets i'll put actually my tag below so you guys can you know friend me and hey we can do some heists but yeah i've been playing gta 5 ever since it came out my level is over 250 and i was able to stack a couple millions okay inside of the game it's dope it's the number one game for me besides batman as well so moving on outside of the gaming setup if you look to the top you're gonna see the batman sign this is a batman sign that was custom through and through i actually designed the curvature and the logo itself inside of believe powerpoint i did this five years ago i used powerpoint for this and one of my friends that is a woodworker is the one that actually made the side so the side is pretty heavy it's beefy and you know i just gave it a glossy black because again it's batman style and i put some rgbs around it not my best choice of rgbs because if you guys can tell it's actually showing dots so it's something in the future that i will definitely upgrade from there and if you're wondering what's giving the purple light inside of the actual game station is these guys right here that I have a couple throughout the office. These are just some RGB, but pocket LED lights or something. So they're great to give you kind of like an ambiance and just uh, fill in some spaces, you know, when you need some extra lighting. So those are dope. I always carry them whenever I go because you don't know what you're going to encounter. Moving along to this side, I have a Birds of Paradise plant which i love this style of plant and right behind it an led bar 
by Anne Bitful. Um, I have about three of these in different lengths throughout the studio. I'll show you guys as I go. These guys are dope. They don't break the bank. They still give me great RGB light quality, very color accurate. They have magnetic points on the back, which you can mount them. Those are, those are dope and you can use them pretty much anywhere you go. And right to the top of it, my newer softbox mounted to my newer SL60. This is one of the first lights that I ever acquired. And if you guys can see on the opposite side of it, the Emeron 200X on a smaller softbox, just because this is a more powerful light and is by color. And I can pretty much just light up the whole studio using this one color. So I don't need a huge softbox. I just need a softbox with a smaller form factor, but a wider spectrum. That's why I have that size of a, of a softbox inside of the Amaran versus this one that is more directional. So if I wanna take like video calls, if I wanna game, this thing will light me up very well. And if not, I could just use it as backlight. And I have it mounted on tubes. These are just pipes, like some, some metal pipes. I gave them a glossy black um, look and the wires, I just have them routed all the way through to the floor, into the carpet, and they go in and they actually plug into the desk main power source, which again, I also have it on a smart plug that I can always just tell Alexa to bring the lights on and she'll do exactly that. Moving on, just before we hit the desk, you guys can notice, of course, this is my black wall that I think I featured it on my desk setup video. And if you guys are interested in this color, I will put it in the description below or on the screen so you guys can see which exact color is this. So right in front of it, of course, this is my main desk setup. I'm still rocking some of the same things, but I have changed a couple of stuff. So let me run through this real quick so you guys can see what I'm rocking on this setup. Yeah, uh, again, I am still rocking the same IKEA combo with the Top Sky stand up, sit stand up legs and just going from left to right a koala light that actually has a stand and is removable as well if you just want to take it on the go it has dual colors so you can make it warm you can make it a little bit more cool and it is magnetic so it's pretty cool and it also has a stand right here that you can attach and i'll show you i have one on the other side that you can pretty much place it wherever you need and going to the right of it a fake plant this one I actually featured on my Timu desk setup unboxing right on the front of it, a mushroom light. I think that lights on your video, they just make your video better because one, you do have your key light, you have a backlight and it's always good to introduce a practical light. So I like this on my setups and I have a arm here by Fifine with the Fifine XLR microphone that i showed you guys on one of the previous videos this microphone is pretty dope it is xlr and usb-c you can actually rock in both ways whichever one fits best your need i am i'm working a xlr version and i'll show you in a minute what i have connected into i have the xlr cable going through the back through raceways and going to the interface and to the right of it is one of the newest additions to the setup these are the pre-sonus i believe they are 3.5 3.5s they are the newest version that i just launched in september i actually have the older version on my desk setup upstairs the hybrid desk setup if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out so i liked it i liked it so much because my brother makes music and you know all the time he's playing music so it's vibing and you know he's got good bass he's got good highs and good lows but there was something missing for me. I love bass. I just love bass. The farthest I go to sound and producing music is just editing videos and doing sound design, but I just love myself some bass. So I picked up these guys with the also eight inch subwoofer brother. And this guy is a mean M effort. is just insane, man any kind of song you throw with this the bass is just feeling and fat so i love this thing and at the cables everything routed to the back of course going through the spine again just to kind of give a cleaner form factor to the actual cable management going through the top and i do still have some cleanup to do 
but overall i think i have it pretty much under control is not as crazy back to the top of the desk the charging station by kushu this one i can charge my airpods my phone of course and it's um magnetic on the uh, magsafe it's actually a magsafe mount and i can always mount my phone sideways which it will display more information for you with the newest updates of the ios and i can mount my watch on the back to charge one thing about this though although it's very convenient i just don't like the fact that the watch doesn't charge fast till this day i believe the apple watch the apple watch original charger is the only one that can charge your watch with the max amount of power don't quote me on this but that's what i've experienced so far every time i have it on my old watch charger or the original i want to say it just charges way faster moving along one of my catch trays there on the bottom and if you guys want to know what i have on there my moft magsafe stand uh, this guy i pretty much a tripod that i mount to the back of my iphone and i can have a stand if i want to take any calls or if i just want to check out some content so this one is pretty dope i keep it over here of course my airpods a pen because i do like to take notes my batman box cutters that this thing are just almost like a better rank and it's dual this thing is dope i keep it over here and it's super super well balanced you just can't go any wrong with something like this it's so aesthetic it's so dope and anything you see on this video guys i'm gonna put the link in the description below you guys might still have a chance to find some of these things on a dope discount because it's black black friday just went over cyber monday just passed by and if there's something that you see that i didn't mention and i just blazed through it please comment below and i'll sure to answer you what's up that was here that i didn't mention and you that you guys just want to know and right in front of the tray i have the hexcal desk mat i also feature on my accessories video this thing is dope when i received this mat i wasn't impressed because my mouse got stuck a lot but then i gave a, i gave some time i used it and now it's one of the best mats that i have used so far as for the keyboard i am still rocking my k crown k4 with modded keycaps i lubed all the switches this one is a non-hot toppable version so i had to lube everything inside of the pcb but it still was able to give me a lot of talky sounds and i'm okay with it so i'm not changing anytime soon but who knows right in the front of it my wrist pad you guys know my wrist rest pad from before and right in front of it i have another ambit full led tube light this is i believe it's a uh, 12 inches not sure and on in front of it my evo 4 this is my main interface that is actually powering the speakers and is powering my five fine microphone i love it because it's an all black design with a little green dot just for good measure and i have no complaints with it underneath it of course connected to the keyboard you do have the coil cable by gumjo with the aviator connectors my lexa right there i'm not gonna say her name because she gets so routed up and i do have the controller for my monitor light bar that is giving me some extra light and underneath my desk shelf i also have my ipad and speaking about the desk shelf itself of course this guy is custom what i did is i picked up a block from home depot I gave it a good sanding i gave it a good brush on the edges so if she's smooth and everything and i bought some legs off of amazon and it fits as for my mouse i'm rocking the king of productivity mouses this is the logitech mx master 3s and for mac of course and i love this guy is a beast i have a program to different set of things inside of each program that i use and for my computer i am still with my imac this one is the 2020 with the 5k display and if you guys can see i'm using the luffy crew from one piece it's just an inspiration and i will be releasing this wallpaper hopefully in this video if i'm releasing this wallpaper today you are gonna see it on the description below and also i do have my deconstructed bad cave wallpaper that you guys love so much so today's official i'm releasing this guy today as well so find it on the description below. To the side of this, I still use my friendly note taker by Mind Design. I'm still rocking my M2 MacBook Pro 
on, I believe it's a human centric stand. I still have my Sony noise canceling headphones and I haven't tried the new ones by Sony yet, but Sony has just been killing with the noise canceling technology. This guy is amazing. And to the right of it, I have my Alex drawers with a candle and this one is ginger black tea and it smells pretty good i like it and i have one of those koala lights on the stands like i told you guys about i have some more fake plants from ikea but thunderbolt design that i think i picked up from home goods just by going around and shopping for some decor and to the back of it the govi lyra light bar and i'm so glad that govi was finally able to make this in black and i was so so excited when they announced it so i went and snatched it and you guys might find these guys on discount as well so go check it out this video is no sponsored by gofi or anything inside of my alex drawers i try to keep actually the first drawers pretty neat so the first one i have with some previous mouses that i use which is the magic mouse by apple i have my anchor vertical mouse i do keep some of my watch bands and some cables at hand i have some magnets i have actually used these lenses for some uh, they are actually lens adapters that I use it for macro shots. They are by a company Mikey. Mikey, I believe. They are very handy. Uh, I also keep some of my extra notepads in case I run out in my desk. I have a brush that this is just to clean off my keyboard when it needs some love and attention. I do have a Naruto badge. Man, they made some poor decisions, but that's a that's a talk for another day. I keep a nest extra SSD drive right there and I do have some extra remotes. This is for the actually newer light and I do have for my Apple TV. The second drawer is also pretty organized. I'm gonna not gonna go through, through it, but from here down, it just becomes a terror movie. So I'm not gonna show that to you because it's that over there, all right? This is a project for some other time not right now the lyra actually runs through this way if i haven't mentioned yet and connects right here to the wall where i have a smart plug uh, that i can just kind of toggle on and off and this cable right here is my main source of power going to my charging station and to control my lighting i do have these blackout curtains from amazon because i do like to have the ability to actually control my lighting 100 percent regardless of the weather i do wish it was actually bright outside so you guys can see the difference but whenever it is bright guys i just close this baby and it becomes pitch black in here and i do that again because i like to record any time of the day and i don't want to depend on the weather and for my chair i am still rocking my clatina i did a review on this guy i like it because this chair has actually a lot of features of a high-end chair which of course arms are adjustable the seat moves front and back and it doesn't have a lumbar support which is a big thing for me i just don't do well with chairs with lumbar support so i love this baby all right and this is my charging station just before i get to it how do i power this thing it's actually a ghetto rig that i did right here i just put a power strip and i keep one of my gan charges this guy is the alpha 65 i do have my amaron on a smart plug because even though I shut my Amaron off from the app, I do like to know that the Amaron is completely off. So I kill the power using the smart plug and I don't have to keep climbing up and down to turn the actual knob. So it's, as long as I kill it here, the Amaron is off. And I do have a lot of cable with a lot of slack right here. I try to do as much as possible to keep this clean, but for now, we keep it private. I recorded a video for this charging station before I actually started putting a lot of videos on the channel, but I didn't like it. So I will redo this video, but this was inspired by a lot of YouTubers back in Chris, Jake White, Lerba Full Time Filmmaker, and I just went with a style that I like. So to the top of it, my DJI Mini 3 Pro with some gold knobs right there that I picked up on Amazon just because the original ones were just too bland for me and just moving down three cubbies from ikea that i just keep some of my keycaps another light bar by ambit full and to kind of power these things off i do have an anchor power station i believe that's what's called and if you guys can see a wide space on this side is because that is where the gimbal that is recording right now goes and if i ever need to charge i have power accessibility right there that's why i kept this hole up here and moving down a little bit one thing that i hate is just that the govi bar that i used here 
has an actual white power block. It is what it is. We might fix this in the future. And this one is just a cheaper keyboard that I picked up, of course, from Timu. And now I also featured on the Timu that set up unboxing. And moving down, I have some power stations here to charge my camera batteries and also my monitor batteries. And I also have a plethora of cables, but I try to keep them organized. Some of them are just USB type C's, some are kind of USB C to USB C, and I have just white ones on one single peg. And I also have another power accessibility right here, just in case I need to charge something around this area. And to the bottom of it, another fake plant. And right to the top of it, this kind of a stand thing. That's where I keep my backpack. And uh, I don't exactly know the actual brand of my backpack. I just picked this guy from Amazon years ago. And it's kind of time for upgrade. Uh, but this stand right here, I just keep my QB, a fake plant, and a cigar. I keep a cigar because I went to Miami and I went to Little Havana. I took an actual tour and they made the cigars in front of us so it was custom it was a very exclusive tour i loved it so i keep it here i don't actually smoke although i like hookahs but you know i kept it here and this stand i think it's pretty convenient because when we originally got it it was just to kind of keep mail in front of the house but then i said you know what let me move it in here we were not really using it i said you know what i'm just gonna use it to hang my backpack and to the last thing is gonna be of course my head by none other Mugi Wara no Luffy and I skipped him because of this because again this guy is my favorite favorite anime oh and I didn't talk about my stents up there these guys are just I just have fake plants with some of my lenses that I use just to give an overall aesthetics to the office and improve actually my productivity because I do like to have greenery around me and keeping the overall aesthetic of walnut blacks with some dash of green. And of course, this is my Mugi Wara no Luffy hat because this is the Batcave, but it's on a pirate ship of the Pirate King himself. And this brings this sword to an end. But what I wanted to tell you is why would this be the last time you guys see this? Is because although it's nostalgic that this thing is finally done i do have to move out of this space my brother will be taking over as a bedroom of course and i am building a new office so be sure to check out once i reveal the video on how that office turns out but for now this is it i do wanted to show you guys my studio tour of 2023 it's been months that i've been working on this thing it's not been easy and i do need to thank the brands that were able to send me stuff along the way and i'm sure there's gonna be more without further ado this is it guys i'm gonna tell you to leave my office right now no this is not mtv cribs i'm joking <laughs> see you guys on the next one i hope y'all enjoy y'all holiday season i hope you guys kill it stay safe tell me what it's like to live with superpowers i don't know but i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i just know that i'm gonna get it I'ma get it, I'ma get it, I'ma get it, I'ma get it. I'm